Hi, I'm George Sam with Main Street Medina. Welcome to another edition of Medina Minute. Today we're going to sit down and talk with some people you see around town and hear their stories. Come join me. So today we're interviewing Sheena Cloninger and Jackie from JG Southtown Market and Mill Street Makers Market. Correct. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to have you in Medina. You are finally here. Yes. <laughs> You're set up. We at are. 119 Lafayette Street Lafayette. in Medina mm -hmm. with your business. Let me know a little bit about that first. So the JG Southtown Market is 50 makers, so crafters, people who make handmade, handmade items. They are set up in the store in four different rooms. Each room kind of has a vibe, kind of has a feel. It's everything from pasta and sauce to dog treats to hair scrunchies and baby blankets. So nice. whatever event you have coming up, we definitely have something there for everyone. That's great. So when did this all start? When was your grand opening? So our grand opening coincided with Ladies Night here in Medina. We nice. opened May 11th. Uh, we had great foot traffic. It was great publicity and a really good return on the vibe. People were happy, people were shopping. It was a really good night. Cool. So um, Jackie, you were there the night I went to, I to see you. Yes. What's your role in there and what do you think of all this? Being in Medina with a new business? And so I actually live in Medina and I, I love it here. I love the community feel. I love the environment. Um, I'm ex I was excited when Sheena came to me and said, would you partner with me to do this? I want to open this store and this is what I'm thinking. This is what I envision. And I was like, absolutely. Um, so my official title is uh, manager of the store. Um, and it's amazing. I'm excited to the people that come in and see us every day. And so cool. we just had someone today that we reached out to and they're like, I just heard about you. We want to get into the store. So we're so excited that the word is getting out there and people know that we are there. That's so cool. So you kind of started out with a company called JG Promotions. Correct. And then this kind of spawned off of that or was it? So JG Promotions is an event coordinating company. We do craft and vendor shows in Medina and Summit County. Oh, cool. And I had this idea of grandeur, and I was like, I want to take everything that we do at these events, and I want to have a concrete brick and mortar store. And that's where Jackie comes in to kind of tether me back to earth and say, okay, you can do this, but within reason. Um, so it was, it was a good mix of reality and, you know, um, <laughs> let's do it all. So, uh, so basically, it's a mixture of all the vendors we've been working with for five years at different pop-up events and giving them a set location where they don't have to man their table all day. Yeah. People with kids can come in and drop off their stuff and go and do what they need to do. Cool. So it works So over out. time you've met these people that are from the area mm -hmm. and they're yes. kind of makers. They do their own thing, right? Correct. Yeah. We have a lot Give of... Give a couple examples of who, who you can see there. So we have, uh, for instance, we have Westview Market. She's a stay-at-home mom. She's got two kids and her sole income is this business and she makes sensory Play-Doh kits. Cool. So if you have kids with ADHD or even the adults I know love to play with them, it's yeah. just Play-Doh with different fixtures and it's great for, you know, dexterity and just kind of occupies their time with something that isn't electronics. It's a great way to get your kids doing things so hands on. Kids. Yeah, we have stuff for nice. kids. Then we have, um, we have pasta, which is made in Cuyahoga Falls and pasta sauce, which is make it, made in Talmadge. We have people from Medina who take old keys and make them into jewelry oh, it's i mean the the creativeness astounds me that people come in with it i look at things they brought in and i'm like i never would have thought to take that and that and make that so it's it, cool. it, it amazes me every day when they come in with stuff so there's um, accessories too like jewelry mm -hmm. i saw yes. there yes. i think that's one of the unique things about it is it's all local artisans who make their own goods if you will for us to bring to the market for people to come and shop and it's really community feeling. We were just talking this morning about how when you walk in, it, it is a homey feel in the shop. We just love it. We, it's like our extension of our mm -hmm. own lives. We just love it there. And Southtown's kind of an up and coming area where it it's gonna be more and more arts and entertainment yes. there. So you're in a great Victorian house. It's a beautiful house. On Lafayette Street, my understanding is Lafayette Road is the entire road, but that 
little section where you are is street. Yes. And I will say, we've had several people, when they put in their GPS, 119 Lafayette Road takes them the wrong the way. Wrong direction. So yep. it's 119 Lafayette Street. street. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll take you to the gas station. Yes. Very good. Very so. good. It's good to know, yes. yeah. So make sure you put the street We should in. probably give something to the gas station to tell people, no, they're right there. <laughs> right, so. right. So this whole part of Southtown and you being there kind of got started with you taking over Mill Street Maker's Market. Correct. Which has been going on for several years now I know Main Street kind of started it mm -hmm. and then it went to um, I think South Town Creative for a while and now you guys have taken it over so Correct. that's awesome it is uh, someone reached out to us actually one of the vendors who always did Mill Street and said hey it's going away after this year the person who's currently running it is unable to continue um, would you be willing to meet with her so I got in touch with the owner and we hammered things out and basically met up with her husband and picked up all the stuff and signed over and here we are here you so are. we're gonna continue with the same you know policy and the same flow that they had you know it'll mm -hmm. be a block party music food Some music food art mm -hmm. makers yep. the only thing i brought in different this year is i have a person coming to do face painting and henna tattoos Ooh, so a little more good. like so artsy yeah kids yeah. And yeah younger people so, absolutely. That's great. we're excited that mill street starts on june 11th this year so we're super excited yeah for the first right. one yeah give come. me the dates like so it's june 11th which is a sunday these are Correct. on sunday they're all right? on sundays and they start at what time so they'll start at 10 a.m and they until four. Until four. So it's an entire day. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's rain or after shine. After church. Yep. And down to Mill church. Street. Yep. yep. And they'll have all the tents will be set up. Food trucks will be over by Gerber's. Um, yep. And then you just kind of walk the block. We have it barricaded mm -hmm. on both ends. And you just kind of stroll leisurely and get your shopping done. And awesome. So memorize. how do people find you on Facebook, Instagram? So right? there, everything on Facebook and Instagram is under Mill Street Makers Market and okay. JG Southtown Market. Okay. The Instagram is actually Mill Street and JG Southtown together. Okay. So, um, but so on Facebook. So they type in either one. Either one. Okay. It'll pop up on Instagram. On uh, Facebook, each one has its own. There's Mill Street Makers Market or JG Southtown Market. And then on TikTok, it's under Sheena Stewart 6 or JG Promotions Inc. And you can find us on TikTok awesome. as well. Website? Uh, is just JG Promotions Inc. Inc. And uh, you can Google it or through Facebook. Sounds good. Okay, so tell me a little, a little bit about yourself. So, Sheena, where are you from and what is it that your passions are? I'm originally from New Jersey. Are you? So the JG is Jersey Girl Promotions. Uh, it's good to know. So, yeah, so when people ask me, what's the JG? And then my daughter is Jersey, because I said uh, the only way I would get a Jersey girl living in Ohio was if I named her Jersey. That's true. So um, I moved to Ohio in 2016, and I lived in Wadsworth, and just kind of had a, a rough go of it when I first got here, coming into a new new city, totally new state, <laughs> um, fresh off of a divorce, all the fun stuff. And um, I started, I was a stay-at-home mom. My son was four at the time and I started selling for a multi-level marketing company oh, cool. and there were craft and vendor shows around but I couldn't ever get in it was always full so I was like well this is frustrating I'm gonna start my own and it started with 20 vendors at the Masonic Lodge in Wadsworth <laughs> in 2018 which and is where we met which is oh, where okay. and oddly enough it was a Christmas in July show it was oh. my very first introduction to it and nice. um, just kind of built off that. Then as we were really getting momentum growing, obviously we shut down the whole world for COVID. Yeah. Um, and I have to say, I had a great group of vendors who just kind of rolled with it and we worked it out and we figured it out. When we were finally able to open again, we had crazy restrictions and had to wear masks and all that, but we we flourished and we came out the other side of it still growing. Better, and you learn probably from Oh, absolutely. That experience. But in that time frame, I went from the 20 vendors at the Masonic Lodge to this past February, we rented out the Summit County Fairgrounds with 210 vendors. And um, we'll be at the Medina County Fairgrounds November 25th with oh, 150 awesome. vendors. Oh, and, that's great. Uh, we're doing breakfast with Santa and it'll be a food nice. drive for feeding Medina County. So can't beat that. So it'll be a great event awesome. as well. So now like you're adopted here and yep. you're, you're here to stay. <laughs> yep. I lived in Medina for a period and then um, moved to Wadsworth because that's where my sister was and I just kind of needed a village. But uh, yeah, I mean, Jackie's here all the time. And so even on my days off, I'm like, let's just go see the store. <laughs> so I joke around with my husband all the time. I'm just going to go live there. It's fine. I'll just that's move awesome. into the store. So and Jackie, you're a Medina girl. I live in Medina. I am also an East Coast girl though. I am from New York. Okay. Um, we moved here about 15 years ago for my husband's job, 
and um, I have two amazing stepchildren and a four-year-old grandson who live in New York, so that's a challenge. Um, and I, when we first moved here, knew absolutely nobody except my husband. Oh. Um, so I'm a very social person, so trying to get out and meet people and, and all that kind of thing. I worked from home. The company that I worked for was an insurance company, and I was a business administrator, and they let me work from home. And I picked up um, LuLaRoe, which is a clothing company. Oh, yeah. And I started selling LuLaRoe, and I just fell in love with it. And I said to my husband one day, I think I want to do this full time. So I partnered up with my best friend, and um, we have two friends and a rack, and that is our business aside from the South Town Market that I do with Sheena and Mill Street. And I just love it. So we've been here in Medina for 15 years, and I couldn't, my husband, his um, his office was in Cleveland. And moving here from New York, you have no idea. Right. She don't tell you <laughs> what's where. And yeah. he said, I don't want to be more than 30 miles from the office. I was like, okay, fine. He was 28 miles door to door. Had we known it was going to take him an hour each way to get back <laughs> yeah, and forth, right. it would have been different. But we love Medina. It was, we're from upstate New York. And the square, it just reminds us of Vermont. It has that homey feel. And it was just, mm -hmm. when we came here, I was like, this is I just knew this is where we yeah. wanted to be. Well, it's been such a nice pleasure meeting you yes. and interviewing you. It's nice to see your excitement and your creativity come to Medina. Looking forward to both events. Yes. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. Thank you so much Thank for you. the interview today Thank and you. wish you the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having Thank us. Good Appreciate having it. you here. Armstrong is proud to partner with Main Street Medina to produce the Medina Minute series to support our local businesses and our community. As a dedicated member since 2007, Armstrong sponsors local events like the Southtown Cruisins, the Medina Farmers Market, Kids Day of Safety and Play, and the Medina Candlelight Walk. To keep up with the latest Medina Minute episodes, tune into the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel on Channel 100 or visit Armstrong Neighborhood Channel on YouTube.